The free application for federal student aid, known as FAFSA, helps millions of college students gain access to grants and loans each year. But a new upgrade to the online application process has caused months of long delays. This evening, Iowa Senator Joni Ert sat down with representatives and students from Northwest Iowa Universities. KTIV's Katie Koppel brings us more tonight on how it's impacting them. I think it's important that our voices are being heard about the changes with the FAFSA. It's been delayed for months, marred with problems, and students, parents, and universities are feeling the strain. We want to be transparent. We want students who uh, want to attend Buena Vista University, Morningside, Briarcliff, we want them to understand what the impact is financially for them and the investment they're going to have to make. Monday night at Morningside University, Iowa Senator Joni Ernst held a roundtable with area universities and college students about how the FAFSA delay is impacting them. I think the impact um, is not just to the students, but also to the colleges and universities who may not have a full student population this next fall. A new free application for federal student aid or FAFSA form was supposed to make the process easier. Instead, it's caused problems. We had pressed very hard to have a simplified FAFSA form for those parents and those students to fill out, and instead it became much more complicated and complex. For area private universities like Morningside, Briarcliff, and Buena Vista, they are seeing the impact not only on new student enrollment, but current students returning next fall, and it trickles down to the workforce. Especially if you look at those that might be studying nursing, teaching, uh, we need folks that are moving into positions as soon as they graduate, and we may not have those fourth year students completing their education on time. Universities are in a holding pattern until the FAFSA delays are fixed and they can get financial aid packages to students who are waiting longer to make their college choice. And if they delay that decision making for too long, the impacts really are consequential in outlying years. Reporting in Sioux City, Katie Koppel, KTIV News 4. Senator Ernst says she's been following the delays on FAFSA for months and will continue to push to the Department of Education for answers.